Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel and today I am doing a post review video of Beauty in Chaos by the artist Tally Sketch and this was made by Muni Made. This was such a fun canvas to work on and I'm very excited to talk through um, my thoughts on this canvas with you guys. Um, I definitely want to preface this video by saying everything I mentioned today is all my personal thoughts and opinions um, and I'm excited to chat with you guys of what I enjoyed about this canvas and there are a couple things that um, not so positive I guess but um, honestly like it's just my what happened you know so I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing you guys a pan of this canvas because it's impossible for me to show you guys the canvas in full right now. You guys can see a pretty good amount of it right now but it's just much easier to give you guys a nice little pan over of the canvas. What an absolutely stunning and fun piece of artwork. I'm such a fan of like the interior cluttered room aesthetic. This is actually going to end up hanging behind um, my like work desk for my work from home little station. Um, I just think that like it's the perfect piece of art for that. And like I said, I absolutely love, love this artwork. Um, and what I wanted to show you guys quick is, um, I actually made a little canvas update, not like update, that's not the right word, but I made a little, uh, change to the charting on the canvas, just like a really, really, really little bit. So if you guys can see the little lamp here, um, I initially this was supposed to just have some blue drills um, but I went ahead and added there's a yellow AB in the kit that I'll show you guys in a minute but I decided to put some of the yellow AB inside the lamp because I thought it would look nice that way um, but yeah so there I mean this canvas was just so fun to work on there were a couple of little things that I want to talk about that I again this is like all just my opinion um, so let me pull up where is it? <laughs> Beauty and Canvas. Beauty and Canvas. Beauty and Chaos post review. Okay, so just to start out, that when I was doing the very first square of this diamond painting, so my very first section down in like this corner over here, you guys can't even see it, like this corner over here, I felt like I was on the struggle bus and I'm pretty sure that was just a mix of having fresh putty, fresh uh, glue dots, um, fresh everything that that was really the only trouble square I had with the canvas until I got to like the very top of the canvas for some reason the very top row of this canvas was also kind of a struggle for me to diamond paint I felt like the glue was really really slippery on this canvas and um, I have personally never experienced that before but I have mentioned this in other videos and some people in the comments were mentioning how the glue might not have been cured um, so apparently if you leave the canvas uncovered for a couple of hours and then cover it back up, it should cure the glue. I just know myself and know that if I were to do that, I would just forget to cover it again. Um, so I didn't really give that a try. Um, I haven't heard anybody else complain about that though. So I might have just gotten a bad one in that sense where the glue was really, really slippery on this canvas. Otherwise, like really truly for the majority of the canvas, I didn't have an issue with the glue or anything besides it being slippery aside from that like I wasn't having any problems like diamond painting on the canvas until I got to like the very very top of the canvas um I just wanted to point that out because it was something I was struggling with that being said uh I know that Muni made is switching manufacturers so I like again I don't know if this has been an issue for anybody else um, but she is changing manufacturers, so I definitely think that's a positive, and it can only really go up from here. Really, truly, this entire process really was great, and I have no complaints, but I didn't want to just mention, like, everything positive, because, like, of course, sometimes you're gonna have roadblocks, and that's okay, and I wanted to make you guys aware. Um, I really do highly recommend her shop, and, um, the quality of this diamond painting everything was hand charted on this canvas and it looks incredible and there's minimal gapping some colors were better than others for sure um but yeah that's kind of what I wanted to say on that I really just don't want it to come across as negative um because I feel like that always outweighs the positive in like if you're watching this and it's like oh she mentioned something negative like that must mean it's a bad canvas which is absolutely not true I genuinely did enjoy working on it and um she's making upgrades and really truly it can only get better from here so 
that's one thing I wanted to mention. Let me go ahead and pull out the tray of drills and I'm going to show you guys the color scheme we were working with. This was the color scheme. There's a few drills in these little like smaller containers, but um, but yeah, uh, this is basically the color scheme. While I was kidding up, there was some static. Um, they all came in like little Ziploc baggies, all the drills. So that really was very unsurprising. Uh, no big deal. I put dryer sheets in a lot of the colors. Um, like you guys can see, like a little dryer sheet in there and it kind of just helped. Another trick I have, um, if you're kidding up and there's static and your drills are flying, I recommend kidding up over a big tray because it just kind of helps keep all the drills at least if they're gonna fly somewhere in theory they're flying into the tray so i don't know that's just something that i found helped me so this kit had two ab's so we have ab444 which is this beautiful yellow color this is the color that i ended up uh changing out the lamp color to be again very happy with that change it was my first time changing a canvas in any way and i'm really happy with it very small change but you know what small changes that i'm happy about will hopefully lead to me doing like bigger and better ones in the future you know um and then the other ab is ab 5200 and it's just this beautiful white so not not one you can go wrong with in my opinion a good white ab is like necessary in like every kit so yeah those are the two ab's um as for like running out of drills i never really thought i was gonna run out of drills and i can say that with pretty good confidence like every single color had a lot of leftovers um and i kind of could tell what colors weren't gonna have that many spots to begin with like this color look how many i have left but they're really, this is kind of what it came with. Like, I'm pretty sure the only spot this color was on the canvas was like a little bit over in the pens, maybe a little bit in this, I don't even think that's the same blue, uh, over here as well. So like this color didn't pop up very many places. So I feel like you get a lot of extra with Muni Made, which is really fantastic. One, actually, I'm going to point out two different colors I had some problems with. Number one was 3865. This is the white color. And as you can tell, I have a lot left over, which is awesome. However, this color, it's, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, there are a lot of drills that are clumped up in here. Um, so what I did actually was purchase this little um, drill grinder. You put the clumped drills in it and then you literally just twist it and um, the drills come apart. Issue is, I'm pretty sure they were caused by static. Um, and so getting them back into the container was kind of a pain. Um, this color in general wasn't my favorite to work with, um, which kind of sucks because like it was literally the entirety of this window. Um, obviously, I got it all worked out. It's not like I was doing the entire window at once, but there were chunks of like doing that color for a while, using it for a while, so that's okay. That's okay. And then the other color, you if you guys have seen any of my whipping chats, you know, you know this color has been a problem child. This is 3371. Ah, the little heart symbol. I don't know what it was about this color in this kit specifically, but yeah, and I just, you know what, we had beef the entire time, wouldn't stick to my canvas, um, I don't know, I wasn't really having problems with any other colors besides that one, I don't know, I've mentioned this in like all my whipping chats because I always start out with that color, I just was having a lot of problems with it, that one's going straight into not keeping, honestly I'm not going to keep any of these drills, um, Number one, because I think I want to just consistently keep Diamond Art Club drills. That's because I have the most of their canvases and um, arguably they're my favorite drills. Um, these were not bad drills though. Again, I feel like I point out some things that weren't so positive. That does not mean that the rest weren't good. Um, I just want to make that very, very clear. I really for the most part actually a lot of these drills were really really nice um they lined up in the tray beautifully and didn't really have any problems with the majority of these colors um really just the ones i pointed out were kind of my troubled children if you will um but yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else i wanted to add to that and i don't think so um yeah came with plenty of drills and as for trash um this is the amount of trash i collected while working on this kit and I, it's hard to tell if it looks like a lot or not really truly it's not that much trash um these drills are actually acrylic drills which is not what my preference is in general diamond art club dreamer designs and i don't know if muni made is now going to be using resin drills but in their older kits i believe they are acrylic drills and that is what these are Acrylic drills do tend to have more trash, so I was giving grace with that. 
Um, but there really wasn't a ton of trash, trash considering. I still definitely prefer resin drills. Um, that's another reason why I'm not keeping any of the drills. It's just because they don't match like that way either with the other drills I usually keep. So um, yeah, they're acrylic in these, but yeah. Let me just check my phone here quick. I just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Um, yeah, no, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and now just go through my diamond painting log book with you guys. Um, just to end off this video here. Um, if you guys are new here, I have a diamond painting log book where I track all of my kits. So these are just some from the past. And um, at the front of my journal, I also write down my stash. Um, so again, this is Beauty and Chaos by Muni Maid and the artist Tally Sketch. I purchased this kit back in June of 2023. So, um, kind of, I mean, a bit ago, June, I mean, like six months ago, is that six, eight months ago? Um, and I started this kit on February 2nd of this year and finished it on the 14th of March, which is the day I'm filming. I'm pretty sure this video is not going up until Wednesday, so I'm filming it pretty early, but, um, so I finished this kit in about a month and a half, which was probably to be expected, um, because of the size point. It's an 80 by 60 centimeters, so... I'm not too surprised by that. Uh, this is a square drill kit. I purchased it from MuniMaid. This kit has 74,104 diamonds, 63 colors, and had two AABs. Like I said, an 80 by 60 centimeter. I guess I never wrote down the inches, which is whatever. Um, this was the 10th kit I've completed in my lifetime and my third kit of 2024. So yeah, you guys, I think this kind of wraps up my poster view video. Um, again, I I feel like I'm beating a dead horse right now. I really did enjoy this canvas minus, you know, a few little little things here and there. And again, that literally would happen with probably any company anyways. Not everything is going to be perfect and that's okay. And I highly recommend you guys go check out Unimade shop. They have so many great canvases and I am very excited to work on my next one from them. Um, I still have two more in my stash currently and that's not to say that that won't grow because it probably will. And I'm excited to kind of see what upgrades they have. Again, I feel like if you've never purchased from Unimade before, you definitely, definitely should. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and start kidding this one down and then I'm going to go watch the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie because like I said, it's the 14th today and it comes out in like, what time is it? 40 minutes and also my dad just called me and I missed his call. So I'm going to call him back. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.